Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you humbly as we know how, Father. We repent of all of our sins, seen and unseen and known and unknown. We thank you, God, for allowing us to see another day. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the clothes on our, on our backs. We thank you, Lord, for food in the fridge. We thank you, Lord, for a roof over our head. We thank you, Lord, for just keeping us safe. We thank you, Lord, for traveling, traveling mercies. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have already blessed us with and for the blessings that we don't know that are coming, Father. We just want to thank you, Father. We want to give you thanks. Thanks, Lord, because it's giving you thanks that is a blessing in itself, Father, giving you praise in the midst of, of storms, giving you thanks in the midst of storms. No matter what we are going through right now, Father, I just pray that you continue to keep us, Lord. Father, I ask that you give us a strength to keep going, Father. I ask, Lord, to give us a strength and the stamina and endurance to get through our day-to-day -day lives, Father. I ask, Lord, to just keep us going and keep us motivated. Father, I bind up every spirit of laziness and tiredness, every spirit of feeling like we are unmotivated, every uh, spirit of feeling like we can't make it, every spirit of feeling like we just can't get through the day, every spirit that is trying to hold us back. I bind up the spirit of backwardsness. I bind up the spirit of delay. I bind up the spirit of setbacks. I bind up the spirit of confusion. I bind up the spirit of mental fog. I bind up every demon demonic spirit that is currently surrounding myself and currently surrounding a person that is on the other side of this phone screen, Father. I pray that you lift them up father i pray that you release every shackle and every chain that has them bound i pray that you release them from the hand of the enemy father I pray that you give them the strength to keep going, Father. I pray that you give them the strength that even when they can't pray, that they can praise. That when they can't read their word, that they can praise. That when they can't get out of bed, they can praise you right where they are, Father. That when they finally are able to get up, that they can pray and that they can read their word. Because we know that those are blockages sent by the enemy, Father. That when they finally get up, that they give you the one of the highest praise or the, the strongest praise that they have ever given you, Father. I pray that they are able to get through it just to praise you father i pray that for the person who is on the other side of this phone screen father that they are able to get through father so many people are struggling trying to get through i pray that they get the rule because we have to go through it to get to the other side there are blessings on the other side there is healing on the other side there is joy on the other side there is peace on the other side there is abundance on the other side father there is so many wonderful things on the other side but we have to get through father so i just pray that you allow us to get through and i bind up every setback that is in the way I bind up every blockage and every trap that the enemy is currently trying to put in our paths, Father. I pray that you clear the paths for everyone who comes across this prayer, Father. And I pray that they rest soundly at night. I pray that they sleep like they've never slept before. Someone right now is struggling with sleep dreams all over, all over the place. Someone can't even remember their dreams, can't barely remember their dreams. Some people right now are dreaming, but as soon as they wake up, it's just complete forgetfulness. We bind up the spirit of forgetfulness any spirit that is stopping this person from being able to remember their dreams we rebuke it and bind it up and send it back to the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of jesus i pray that the person who comes across this prayer that as soon as they hit the pillow tonight that they sleep like they have never slept before in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you keep your hands on this person, Father. Keep your hands on this person, Father. Keep your hands on this person, Father. And I pray that you never take them off, Father. I pray that wherever this person is right now, I don't know if they're outside, if they're on the train, the bus, in their car, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the living room. I don't know where they are, Father. But I pray that when they come across this video, that an anointing comes over them, that a fresh wind comes their way that peace just overflows into their spirits right now in the mighty name of jesus someone right now is just battling with so much confusion and is seeking peace father when they come across this video i pray that every um spirit of brokenness is broken off of them every spirit of hurt is broken off of them every spirit of confusion is broken off of them every spirit of past traumas and unhealed um, childhood wounds. I pray that all of that stuff is broken off of them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I just ask that you keep this person wherever they may be, Father. Keep your hand on this person and never take it off. I ask that you cover them under your blood, Father. Give them travel and mercies wherever they go, Father. And I ask, Lord, that you just continue to keep them, Father. We need to be kept right now. The enemy is trying to fight us so hard right now. The enemy is trying to fight us so hard right now. So I ask, I ask Lord, that you can, that you deliver this person out of the hands of 
the enemy. And I pray that you step in, Father, and you take the enemy's hands off of them and you replace it with yours. In Jesus' name, amen.